Do you know 1% rise in pricing could result in an 11.1% increase in profit? It's true that the fastest and most effective way for a company to make its maximum profit is to get its pricing right. Amazon is a highly price sensitive marketplace. Therefore, using the right pricing strategies will improve your ranking and conversion significantly. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Pajan, craft evangelist at Sellera, and I'll be talking about something amazing today. Amazon pricing strategies and how to find the best pricing strategy for your Amazon business. Don't we all enjoy a good deal? Your customers are no exception. They usually take the time to look at several websites, research brands, and compare costs before purchasing a product. Price algorithms and apps made it possible for people to compare products and prices and increase transparency. On the other hand, inflation and supply chain problems make costs go up for sellers. As a business owner, you will confront a series of price and promotion related questions that you will force to reconsider your pricing tactics for your Amazon business. You should think about how can you maintain or improve your customer's price perception? Do you underinvest or overinvest in promotions and deals? How pricing affects the consumer value proposition? What tools and tactics can you employ to stay current on pricing strategies? Most importantly, how do you determine the best price and promotions in order to maximize your ROI? Now, why do you need a unique pricing strategy? Pricing strategy assists a company in determining the best rates to make profits while taking into account customer perception and market demand and stakeholder value. When it comes to pricing a product or service, there is no one-size-fits-all solution. As a result, Amazon sellers should try out different pricing tactics to see what works best for them. Now, how do you set Amazon prices? Pricing things competitively on Amazon is more difficult than it appears. On many marketplaces, the logic is, if sales are high, prices are raised. If sales are low, prices are decreased. However, Amazon's algorithm is quite sophisticated and reducing your margins through price reductions does not always enhance your platform position. This is why it is critical to understand the numerous pricing discrepancies and pricing strategies. Any seller on Amazon should be familiar with two types of prices, the item price and the total price. The cost of a product alone is the item price. Customers will see this price after deducting shipping fees and any additional expenditures that might affect your final cost. The total price, also known as the landed price, is the price that includes everything and is what the buyer pays at the end of the purchasing process. Let me tell you what is covered under the final cost, shipping and handling charges, discounts, rebates or special sales or promotions, shipping method, business practices such as any reduction or elimination of shipping charges or an order or of any other order related fees and expenses. Now let's get real about pricing your products. Determining the proper pricing for your goods is challenged because the price of your product determines your revenue. First is price cuts and increased sales. Minor price changes can result in greater conversion rates and more sales. An increase in conversion rates can lead to these outcomes such as increase in daily sales, higher profits per additional unit sold, increases customer perceived value which improves product click-through rate, Second is price hikes when a competitor runs out of stock. This, however, may not always produce the best results. Increasing pricing when a potential co competitor product is out of stock, on the other hand, leads in an increase in daily earnings and sales. A little improvement in conversion rates. Increasing prices can diminish AOV while increasing revenues. If you raise your product's average selling price, your average order value may suffer. So here's an example. The listing price is $15, you sold more units but made a small profit. Your listing price is $20, you sold a comparable number of units and earned an average net profit. The listing price is $25, you sold few more units but made more than in the prior two situations. This is the effect of price on earnings. Next is increase in price when inventory is scarce. When inventory is low, a few sellers raise their prices to avoid losing organic ranks on Amazon. This can somewhat increase your profits. Now let's look into how to optimize your pricing strategies when designing your price plan. Consider the customer, channel dynamics, competition, and company model. 
You may wonder why these metrics. These metrics assist you in prioritizing revenue objectives that are not exclusively driven by competition or customers. In addition, here are some techniques to think about when designing pricing plans for your Amazon business. First, establish goals. Your pricing strategy will differ depending on your business objectives. Your goal could be to boost profit margins, grow into new markets or something else entirely. Discover how this can affect your pricing approach. Second is cost related to the product. To remain viable, costs such as shipping, production and marketing must be considered. Ensure that your price covers all these expenditures and allows you to achieve the desired margins. Third is competition. Discounting and price are important factors in client purchase decisions. So researching your competitors' pricing techniques and dynamically monitoring prices will help you increase your product sales and conversions. Fourth, consumer perceptions. Understanding your customer's attitude towards your product is crucial. Keep track of how people engage with your products and their feelings about them and similar competitors' products on Amazon and any other e-commerce platform. Define your buyer persona which specifies your ideal customer's interests, prices and so on. Fifth, distinctive value proposition. What is the market gap that you are attempting to fill? Examine your competitors' buyer personas to identify the traits that are missing from their tactics. Use these gaps to improve your marketing strategy and raise the profile of your brand. Sixth is channel dynamics. Are you selling on a discount-driven marketplace? Is your product category dominated by low price products? These are some questions to think about while deciding on a pricing plan. Remember that Amazon will match any other e-commerce platform's price for your product. Now, how to create Amazon pricing strategies? It's critical to effectively price your product while maintaining profits. Let's take a look at some pricing methods for scaling your Amazon business. First is automatic rule-based pricing. Prices are adjusted automatically or dynamically in response to competition and seasonal trends. You create various pricing policies and track sales. It is a more efficient approach of pricing your products that eliminates laborious procedure. This approach allows you to set rules such as maximum and minimum pricing. The Amazon repricing tool automatically adjusts your product prices and assists you in maximizing your ROI. When you desire control over the price ranges inside your SKU, choose automatic rule-based pricing. You can also choose which SKUs to include for repricing. You can use rule-based pricing solutions which are typically available for free in the market. Second is algorithmic repricing. These tools make use of built-in algorithms to enable strategic repricing in response to price changes. Due to the self-learning nature of these algorithms, the more you use them, the more accurate your product prices get. To examine prices that work most, algorithmic repricing tools use indicators such as past sales data and sales velocity. These tools assist optimal prices at which they were created and capitalize on them to help you meet your sales goal more quickly. Algorithmic pricing is most commonly utilized in competitive situations. It enables you to eliminate human bias and make intelligent price decisions based on market knowledge. Because the algorithms operate in real time, they dynamically adjust based on your company's goals and profitability. Third is manual repricing. Most e-commerce enterprises use it as one of their pricing methods. To compete with other vendors, you manually alter the prices on your listings. If your portfolio contains a small number of ASINs, this strategy will allow you to regulate pricing adjustments. However, sellers with more products may find it difficult to consistently optimize the listing prices. Furthermore, it may result in pricing inaccuracies, which can be costly for the business. After discussing about pricing strategies, let's look into how pricing affects winning buy box. You're probably wondering what buy box has to do with pricing strategy. Amazon respects what its customers prefer. Amazon's aim is to supply its customers with high quality goods at reasonable cost. That is why product pricing plays an important role in determining who gets the buy box. The lower the price is, the more likely you are to win the buy box. However, when competing for your buy box, you must exercise caution and ensure that you are not selling your goods at loss. Remember that pricing is simply one of the elements that determine your chance to win the buy box. 
Several other criteria in addition to pricing influence your sales and chances of winning the buy box on Amazon. So those are order defect rate. This metric assesses customer service standards. Fulfillment method. Sellers who use Amazon FBA have a better chance of winning the buy box since they provide speedy shipping options. Amazon return rate. Stock availability. Seller response time. Shipping time. Reviews and ratings. Now, when it comes to pricing your products on Amazon, there is no single formula for success. Sellers must be flexible, informed, and competitive in their pricing, and they must continuously review what works best for them. Because of the extremely competitive environment and Amazon's complicated and sophisticated dynamic pricing algorithms, retailers and sellers must invest in modern technology and automated pricing solutions to stay ahead of the competition. To make the most of the marketplace and win the Amazon pricing war, you should also analyze and optimize your listing, delivery and returns, and product quality continuously. That's it for the video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Sellera. Let us know if you guys want us to create in-depth seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss on any other video. And as always, happy selling!